the thing I think the world is not ready for. Like people have maybe abstractly thought like, okay, it's gonna be a better programmer than me, it's gonna be. Synthetic humans are here and they're coming to replace you very soon. The truth is that with artificial intelligence growing faster and faster every day, this is more likely to be reality than an episode of Black Mirror. For decades, we could only dream of creating super intelligent robots that could seamlessly fit in with humans without a second look. Autonomous AI as advanced as the synths from the sci-fi drama series, humans were just that, science fiction. However, we see more and more headlines of bioengineers and scientists working side by side to create robots in our likeness. Despite having only screws and microchips for brains and running on complex algorithms, synthetic humans are AI-powered humanoid robots that look, move, and interact like humans. Unlike traditional robots we've used in our farm fields and manufacturing warehouses for years, these robots with their lifelike size and human facial expression could easily pass for another worker. At least with robotic models like Tesla's Optimus and One X technology, Technologies Neo, you can easily tell their AI thanks to their conventional metallic exterior. However, researchers are working on producing artificial skin that closely resembles human flesh. These flexible polymers even come embedded with sensors that let the robots detect touch, pressure, and temperature. In other words, feeling a tap on your shoulder or the warmth of the sun on your skin is no longer inherently reserved for living beings. With these advanced sensors, AI bots can feel what you do, blurring that line between the human experience and that of a robot. On top of that, scientists at Tokyo University are making significant steps to create artificial skin so human-like it can heal itself. A Quora conversation from a year ago where a user asked if they could cover a robot with human skin had several replies saying it was impossible. And rightly so, because the process of skin healing requires living cells that need to be kept alive in a living organism with a circulatory, respiratory, and digestive system that can give it the nutrients and oxygen it needs to survive. But less than a year after that threat, Japanese scientists blew the world away when they created an artificial skin in the lab with the ability to heal itself. Before, if a robot fell down or got in an accident, it would end up with a dent, just like your car. But in the future, with advanced artificial skin, they'll have the ability to heal like humans, sharing more similarities with us than their machine counterparts. To double down, the Japanese scientist working on artificial skin at Tokyo University also manipulated their experiment into smiling like a person. AI humanoids not only have the ability to look like us, they can also imitate our facial expressions and movement. The team, led by Professor Shoji Takeuchi, were successfully able to anchor an actuator to the sensitive cultured skin and tug on it to make it smile. However, as far back Back as 2019, engineered arts's Amica has been capable of imitating human facial expressions. Although, unlike the Japanese's pink fleshy blob, she has gray, rubbery skin. There's even a video on the company's website featuring Amica expressing a wide range of emotions from joy with a wide smile, to shock with a hand over her mouth, and even confusion with a simple shrug. Our facial expressions are a combination of small tweaks in the 43 facial muscles we have, and it's a amazing that we can recreate it in synthetic humans with mechanical actuators. Besides anchoring and moving facial muscles, actuators are also responsible for another astounding feature of AI humanoids. These structures can contract and expand like real muscle fibers in the arms and legs, allowing robots to walk, grip, and perform complex tasks like humans. Clone Robotics caused an uproar on social media when they released a video in showing off their proto clone, a synthetic human with musculoskeletal features that mirror humans. With over 200 degrees of freedom, 1,000 myofibers, and 500 sensors, the protoclone's gait should be as smooth as anyone walking on the street. I have a video on the release if you're interested in more details about the protoclone. Pretty soon, the clunky, awkward steps robots are famous for will become a thing of the past. Amazing, considering this innovation was impossible. Just a few years ago. But the similarities between synthetic humans and us go beyond skin deep. It's not enough for them to look and move like us. These advanced robots are also capable of speech. If you're on the internet, you probably know about artificial intelligence companies producing chatbots like ChatGPT, 
Claude, and more recently, DeepSeek. These AI models are capable of delivering instant, computer-generated replies that make it seem like you're texting a super-intelligent human. However, the companies creating these models are also developing sophisticated versions you can install in synthetic humans that make them capable of speech. In 2016, Hansen Robotics stunned the world by releasing Sophia, a social robot with the ability to hold conversations and mimic social behavior. This robot was so impressive, she was even a guest on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. When asked what she had been up to since they last saw each other, she reeled off a monumental list of accomplishments, including addressing world leaders at 2017's NATO conference, becoming the first robot citizen of Saudi Arabia, and even becoming Twitter friends with Chrissy Teigen. In response, Jimmy Fallon joked about only binging Netflix. But it's scary to think that we genuinely live in a world where real humans mostly sit and watch the world around them, while humanoid robots mingle with presidents and make speeches that could effectively affect real people. Coupled with advanced AI that recognizes, tracks, and mimics human emotions, these bots could be capable of swaying international trade and military laws that impact millions, if not billions, of people. Now, all of these would still be significantly less scary if we could easily unplug a button once things get out of control, except these advanced AI bots now have one of the most unique human behaviors, the ability to learn. In other words, even if we create them with a set algorithm with finite capabilities, they're capable of self-improving and changing that algorithm. Several trials show that Tesla's Optimus is capable of imitation learning, which is where the bot observes humans or consumes multiple videos and is able to replicate the tasks it sees. This capability is especially impressive because self-learning AI may only be able to put parts together, but once they can take stock of inventory, write reports and report to a higher up, they could move up the career ladder. After all, if they can take on tasks that traditionally required human intelligence with more efficiency, why wouldn't they invade all industries and even occupy management positions? However, that begs the question, what happens to us? Unfortunately, humanoid AI replacing real humans in the workplace is no longer a baseless doomsday prophecy. It's real, and it's happening now with workers in blue-collar jobs feeling the brunt of it. Amazon, America's largest online retailer, is leading the charge with an AI-powered helper called Digit, a warehouse robot that can move items with ease. This bipedal robot is capable of grabbing boxes and placing them on the right conveyor belt, speeding up the company's processing and delivery time. With the ability to move, grasp, and handle items in spaces and corners, Digit works side-by-side -side with humans to perform highly repetitive tasks like tote recycling and refilling inventory. However, while these robots peacefully coexist with their human workers, as they advance, they're bound to become the more popular demographic. After all, if you can get one robot to do the work of three people, you can significantly increase your profit margin, which is great news for shareholders. Besides, with Amazon's $1 billion industrial innovation fund, we're likely to see more digits in the near future, meaning impending layoffs for human workers. Digit's parent company, Agility Robotics, is already leading the charge with reports of them reducing their workforce in April 2024. And with plans to open a larger factory in Oregon that mass produces more synthetic humans, more Agility and Amazon employees are at risk. Even workers in the fast food industry need to watch their backs or risk getting replaced by AI. For instance, in 2024, rather than conduct another employee employee training session, McDonald's decided to turn to AI to improve their customer service. To that end, the worldwide burger chain partnered with IBM and spent $300 million acquiring AI bots from Dynamic Yield, then placing it in over 100 locations around the US. Digital creator Deepak Chavan even posted an article on LinkedIn praising McDonald's for their innovation and highlighting how their choice to implement AI in their drive throughs was nothing short of revolutionary. He went on to detail how an automated drive through with voice recognition would reduce service time and even boost the restaurant's operational efficiency through better inventory management. Unfortunately, the experiment ended in disaster with TikTokers posting epic fails of the AI-powered drive through bots. In a viral post, one user expressed frustration 
when the robot incorrectly interpreted her request for a large water and a cup of ice cream to two butters and four ketchup packets. Cup of ice cream, not a ketchup pack, oh my god. <laughs> In another nonsensical flop, one user was laughing when the bot didn't stop increasing her order until the digital menu board showed she'd ordered $250 worth of McNuggets. As a result, McDonald's had to shut down their AI-powered bots a mere six weeks after commencing operation and resort back to human staff to work their drive throughs However, with advancements in artificial intelligence improving daily, there's every possibility this decision could be a temporary reprieve while they go back to the drawing board. On the other hand, people in the manufacturing industry are losing their jobs in droves as companies adopt robots capable of replacing human assembly line workers. For example, in 2024, the Chinese tech giant Xiaomi showed off clips of a smart factory capable of operating 24-7 with claims that 100% of its key processes are automated. As a result, such a factory would have no room for human labor. And with a projected output of 10 million handsets annually, there's really no incentive for them to keep several human workers on their payroll. After all, with an output of 19 phones per minute, round the clock, setting up a smart factory seems like the more prudent financial choice. While Xiaomi claims their smart factory is a small step to the future, for people that rely on these jobs, it's a big step toward unemployment. However, it doesn't seem like the company has any plans to slow down their AI adoption. In 2023, they released their own humanoid robot called the Cyber One, capable of fine motor tasks like inserting a microchip in another machine. With such dexterity, Xiaomi could potentially replace humans in their other factories with synthetic humans that don't get tired, make mistakes, or charge a fair wage. Even the healthcare industry isn't safe, with AI-powered health workers like Grace handling tasks once reserved for human caregivers. This Japanese nurse even made CNN headlines in 2021 when she made her debut as an assistant to help relieve burnout. With a lifelike face and calming voice, she's capable of taking vital readings, monitoring exercises, all while patiently explaining to the patient what she's doing. Perhaps the most impressive thing about Grace is that her human-like emotions and advanced intelligence make up one of her best features, talk therapy. Of course, that's hardly a surprise considering she's made by Hanson Robotics, the same company that made Sophia. As a result, Grace is more than a nurse. She's also a companion for the sick and elderly. Besides, she's also capable of speaking multiple languages, making her perfect for an international market. According to the International Federation of Robotics, IFR, global sales of medical robots are on the rise, and with advanced AI like Grace, they're bound to keep going up. But while hospitals might intentionally purchase these synthetic humans with intentions to have them assist existing human caregivers, they could just as quickly become the face of healthcare across multiple countries. After all, mass production would make AI bots like Grace a lot cheaper. And with medical errors being the third leading cause of death in countries like the US, management would inevitably look to more efficient alternatives. Another customer-facing role with human workers facing the threat of extinction are those in service jobs. Even though McDonald's may not be ready to get rid of the workers manning their drive through all over China, humanoid robots are already replacing retail workers. At CloudMind in China, the semi-humanoid Cloud Pepper welcomes and interacts with humans as a receptionist, while managing other office duties, like taking calls. Of course, you may be familiar with the earlier version of this AI developed by SoftBank Robotics. This pepper is more common in retail stores, where it acts as a sales assistant giving customers recommendations and even has the sophisticated ability to recognize human emotions. The chief executive of one of China's largest e-commerce companies, JD.com, said that sooner or later, our entire industry will be operated by AI and robots, not humans, painting a grim future where synthetic humans replace all of us. Are you worried about these synthetic humans taking your job? If so, or not, let me know why and what you do in the comments below. Thank you for making it to the end. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting AI updates.